This is James, and I've taken 55 flights during the pandemic. James is a world traveler, even during a global pandemic. He was the youngest male in the world to visit every country. Now, he runs a home exchange platform called Holiday Swap. Even though the pandemic has stopped nearly all of us from getting on a plane, in just eight months, he's boarded planes 55 times. A strong economy is a strong healthcare system, is funding for science. You can't just take a single view. Nearly all of his travel is for meetings and to meet with his investors. And even though he wears a mask and exercises caution, he thinks the economic impact of the pandemic isn't being discussed enough. Are people considering mental health, anxiety, genuinely depression, suicide, other facts in the US alone? 1% rise in unemployment, 40,000 people dead. Lower life expectancies, people that cannot feed their families. He acknowledges that traveling has been super eerie, but he continues to do it because he says, well, it needs to be done. Or in the US. I have a team of people that work in my company. People have young kids at my company. I need my company to, to be able to survive and I need to pay people's wages at the same time. You know, I'm not going on holidays. I'm not being irresponsible for 32 COVID tests. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, that's right in there. While celebrities, companies, and influential leaders are advising us to They're just stay at home. James says, Staying home will also kill people. That's a fact. You know, people cannot feed themselves. Paycheck to paycheck is the US economy. Six million people couldn't pay their rent last month. 26 million people couldn't pay their student loans. 72 million people in the workforce in the US are millennials who hold 5% of the wealth. They don't have savings to sit back and say, oh, we can stay at home. And air travel has slowly picked up. Recently, US airports screened more than 1 million passengers in a single day, the highest since the start of the pandemic. But James thinks it'll take years for the travel industry to get back to what it once was. It's the second goal and age of travel has just been and gone. You know, people will still want to travel and move around, but it will be different. People will do road trips and RV trips and staycations. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm torn. Part of me says that James should not be traveling this much and that he should stay at home like the rest of us. The other side sees the economic impact and the jobs that are at stake here. So I want to know what you think in the comments. While you're at it, subscribe to my channel and find me online at Upton.